Alright guys, so for today's vlog, what I will do here is uh, I'm going to teach you how to um, <coughs> create mail merge. Alright, so again, this is a so if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon so you will be updated to all my videos. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's get into it. So initially for the mail merge, what you're going to do is you have to um, open a blank document. So that is the first step that you have to do. So let's wait for the MS Word to so open it. Blank document. Alright, so we already have the blank document. Now after that, the second step is uh, you're going to locate the mailing tab. So the mailing tab is under the menu bar of your MS Word. And uh, just going to click that. And you, you locate for the start mail merge. There you go. And then uh, you're going to choose letters for, for this demonstration. Alright, so once you already have the letters, so what you're going to do here is you have to type the letters. Um, if you don't have the letters yet, you're going to type it um, manually from scratch. But if you already have the letter, you can just copy paste that and um, it will uh, give you the information right away. So for me, I have the letter already prepared. So I'm going to um, go to the folder. So mail merge and then propose letter. So I'm going to click that. Let's copy paste it. So this is the letter. So let me copy that. And close this. Paste. There you, go. there you go. So this is the letter that I already prepared. So this is a very simple letter. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, what we're going to use for the mail merge. All right. So once you already have the letter, next step is you have to save it, of course. So Control S, and then uh, save it to the folder, and you can name it um, sample letter or any other file name that you can actually think of. You can uh, use that. So click save. Must already save. Now the next. Uh, okay. By the way, let me put in here. The last part truly yours let me put my name all right so after that you're going to put in the markings so the markings represent the individual information of the recipient or the client so it is written in capital letters so let's put in the last name now we have the first name and then right after that, we're going to put the company name. All right. And then the address line one. So address line one is the street name and street number. And then address line two. So this is the name of the barangay. And then uh, let's put the city and uh, province. Oops, spelling. <laughs> okay. And then uh, let's also include here the zip code. And then lastly, the contact number. Okay, let's just compress this with no margins. So we'll go to home. And then click the, the spacing um, part. And then remove uh, space. To the paragraph. You can make this uh, bold so that you can easily identify the markings. All right, now you already have the marking, so don't forget to save it. Control S. All right, after that, you have to um, go back to the mailing tab, okay? And then once you're already there, you have to uh, click the select recipient. So we're done with the start mail merge, so we're going to um, proceed to the next. So select recipient. We have three options here. So we have the type a new list also have the use existing list and then we have choose uh, from outlook contact so for this one we're going to use the type a new list so click that and then you will have this um, dialog box so on this part guys we're going to um, click the customize columns 
there so this is the customized address list so what we're going to do here we're just going to uh, make sure that the information here on the customized address list is the same as the information on your form document so we're going to remove the unnecessary information so like title delete last name we're going to move it up and then control region we don't need that so delete that one home phone number also and then the email address the work uh, phone we're just going to rename it as contact number contact number all right and then click ok so here on the dialog box the bigger one just going to input the individual information of the recipient like their last name so i'm gonna put in the first um, line but you will be needing five lines or five samples so i already prepared the database for this so i don't need to write um, everything so i'm gonna put here the first one so let's say my name first name let's say um, abc company I just line one so this is the street number and the street name so one two three say Bacow Street Barangay so let's say Barangay one two three and then city let's say Malate and then Manila uh, zip code one one zero one contact number certain one blah 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 so this is just uh, uh, a makeup number <laughs> Alright, so that is it. Now, for you to move to the next field, you're just going to use the tab button on your laptop or desktop. So, you can just use tab to edit and go to the next field. Now, after that, you can also use the tab to create another line or another entry or you can use this one, new entry. Alright, so that is how you're going to put it. And then you're going to click OK. And you're going to save the file on the document but since i already created one so i'm gonna use this uh for my um, form document so let me close that do not save it so i will go here i will highlight the markings select recipient use an existing list i'll go to the folder and then click the client list all right so i already have it um uh, put in on the document so uh, the next step will be you have to um, click this one I mean highlight each um, individual um, information and then after highlighting that you're just going to okay after highlighting so you're just going to go to the insert merge field and I'm going to choose the last name so whatever information here just going to insert it one by one so last name and as you can see, we have the uh, angle bracket, two angle bracket on the on both sides, so that uh, that is actually um, signifies that it's already, um, I mean, the information already uh, put on the document. And then the first name, I also put the middle initial. We have the company name, address line one. So click the address line one. Others line two. Let's go right here. And then the city. It's also the town. It's the same thing. And we have the province. And then the zip code. Lastly, the contact number. Okay, you can also put here the last name to make it more formal. And that is it. Alright, so after that, to check if it's already um i mean if the information is already uh verified and you can just click the preview results there you have it so you we see the changes here and uh meaning uh successful we have successfully uh merged the document so we have one two three four and five so after that we're going to click the finish in merge and then we have three options here edit individual documents we have print and then send um, email we're not going to use the last two we're going to use the first one um, edit individual documents so click that one make sure it's uh, the radio button should be on all and then click ok there you go so as you can see i was able to i 
I mean, I, I was able to create uh, five documents here. So first document, second, third, fourth, and the last one. So this is the final output for the mail merge. Okay, so from one document, we're able to generate uh, five based on the number of individual um, recipients. So the, f the last um, step that we have to do is you have to save this. And then uh, we have to name it uh, mail merge underscore complete and then click save and that is it so that is pretty much the step-by-step -step procedures on creating mail merge but there are other steps guys so you can actually do like you can uh, follow the wizard here step-by-step -step mail merge wizard you can also do that but I prefer the, the long one so you can really learn from it. And then you can also personalize the, the address block. So you, you also have that options here. So you can personalize it on whatever address block that you're going to use. So it's really up to you to discover and explore the mail merge um, features of MS Word. Alright, so I guess that is it for this tutorial so i should see you on the next tutorial and hopefully you're able to do it um, on your own for the demonstration thank you guys